What's going on everybody? This is the video I had a lot of people um, asking about, so I'm going to do this as quickly as I can so y'all have like a 5 or 10 minute video to watch. So, start off with these. These are the Nike First Touch um, five, or 2, um, Nike 5 I think is what, you know, that's like the thing. I don't know, they're indoors, I mean they're whatever, they're nothing, nothing special at all. Now these are um, Diodore Americanas, really really enjoy these, $80, good cleat. The only problem is the studs are fairly short, as you can see, and very wide. So if you play on hard hard ground like I do in Louisiana, they're not going to work for you. So be wary. These are very, very, very comfortable though, and you know they fit a lot like the Predator, um, the uh, Power Swerve. So yeah. And then these are the Diodora Americana um, uh, indoors, and these are also kangaroo leather like these. These are kangaroo leather, both of these, and um, these are really, really good in my opinion. Um, the only problem is they're not as supportive on your feet as I believe they should be. Now I got the Adidas um, Adidas Adi Pure ones. I mean, there's nothing really to say about them. I didn't really enjoy those very much. Um, so yeah, and then they're also right here, which I didn't really enjoy much the second time getting in the right size. So yeah. Uh, now these are the Nike Vap Mercurial Vapor Force Orange. They held up pretty well. I played a lot in these. I enjoyed them. Only problem is my dog chewed on them and this broke off. Well, it didn't break off, but it's kind of, you know, it's coming off, as you can see. Um, now we got the Nike Tempo Legends. And they're, I mean, there's nothing special about these. They're just a subpar cleat, so I don't really have anything else to say about them. I enjoyed them. But uh, there's better cleats out there for sure. Now this is the Adidas Predator Power Swerves. These were, before I got the next cleat, after I show you these Power Swerves, these were, in my opinion, the best cleats I ever wore. They are, you know, very, very comfortable. You, f you know, true touch. Feels like you're, you know, it's, it fits to your foot very well so where you feel the ball. You know, a lot of cleats you don't feel like you're kicking barefoot but these are one of those cleats and I highly re recommend these so if you are looking for a good cleat I recommend these a lot and now these are the same ones different colorway black and white uh, I like them so much I got another pair and um, I liked them again so but uh, I kinda got a little bit tired of them and I wanted something different so I went with these CTR 360 Maestries and I couldn't have made a better decision um, these were, without a doubt, one of the best pair of cleats. Actually, I take that back. These are the best cleats I've ever worn. Um, these and the Vapor 4s, no, Vapor 6, sorry, not 4s, um, were, you know, they're unbelievably good cleats. I really, really highly enjoyed them. And uh, mainly because the, they're so comfortable in the traction. The stud system is amazing in these. You know, they got these bladed studs which in where I'm from, I'm from Louisiana and the grounds very hard and you have to have bladed studs to play now the touch is excellent on these, I really highly recommend these, the only problem was that I got them a half size too small because I thought they would stretch and they didn't so I went ahead and got these really really enjoy them, you know they finally fit my feet perfectly, super duper soft and I love them now these last two these uh, Total 90 Laser 3s and the Predator Absolutes are for sale. Now these aren't as in good condition as these, but they are still very, very good. The only problem is we have little, little scuff marks and obvious, you know, a little bit of break in. Um, and that's, I mean, that, that happens after the first time you wear them. So they're in very good uh, condition. I would obviously clean these off a little bit better than they are right now before I sold them. And I would look to sell them around $40. So if any of you are interested, please message me. Size 11 in these, as well as these. Now these are a little bit better condition, so I would probably start at around $50 to $60. These are also size 11, I believe. Yeah, size 11. And, um, you know, I would clean these off as well. These are, in, I mean, I've only worn these in one game. One game, that was it. No practices, just a couple shooting around my backyard, but other than that, nothing. They're in excellent, excellent condition, you know, super, super soft kangaroo leather, and, you know, they're good cleats. So if you have had these, uh, 
and you wanted a pair, I mean, these are basically new and they're a good price. So if you want to buy them, size 11 as well. And um, there's one cleat that I don't have anymore that I wanted to say a couple things about, which were the uh, Mercurial Vapor 6s. And, uh, you know, they were a very, very good cleat. Second to these, um, in my opinion. And um, I really liked them. So if you have any questions, just let me know in a comment below. And thank you all for watching.